Hi, hello, good morning, good evening, good afternoon. Uh, in this lecture, we are going to learn how to change data source settings. Let's go back to Power BI Desktop. This is my Power BI Desktop. I already have connected to the some data source here, SQL Server database. Um, if at all you want to change your data source settings, you can go to this transform data and click data source settings. Once you click data source settings, uh, in this pop-up window, you can see two radio button option. One is data sources in current file and the other one is the global permissions. The global permissions lists all the data sources that you would have connected earlier. It will list all the data sources that you connected um, from the uh, other Power BI files basically. right? And if you go to this data sources in current file, you see three tabs here. You use the clear permissions to clear the permissions the I mean credentials that you entered that is what it is and uh, change source you come uh, you click on change source for example if at all you want to change the server name for example now you connected to this server now you want to connect to a different server you can come to this change source option uh, edit that you can um, change the server name here uh, and you can also change the database also if you want okay and the SQL statement is grayed out because while connecting to uh, database itself you will have an option to write your own custom SQL but after connecting to the SQL and uh, go back and click change source if you want to write your own SQL here you will not see that option okay click OK so that is about the change source there is another option called edit permissions edit permissions will allow you to set some additional properties here uh, for example if you want to change the um, the method of connecting here uh, from Windows to database or to Microsoft account you can do that or if you want to change your credentials that that might have changed you can also do it from uh, this um, the uh, edit option from here right so there is an encryption connections if you want to make this uh, more secure using the encryption or if you want to enter your credentials or if you want to make your connection encrypted you can also check that and there is another option which is um, somewhat important if you really want to uh, set these options called privacy level privacy level has three um, level of privacy settings one is a public organizational otherwise a private if you choose a private what will happen if you if at all uh, any time in the future if you want to combine this data source with the other data source in the same file um, but you don't want this data source data uh, visible to other data sources you can set this uh, private uh, where uh, you will not be uh, able to mash up or integrate the other data sources with this data source basically so which is going to be purely private and um, no one will be able to access and if you set the organizational uh, what will then happen you're you're allowed to uh, connect to other data sources other other of your other data sources of your organizational basically right so you could at least you know combine the other data sources of your organized same organizational and do the mashup and combining and integrating this data source with the other right only organizational level groups will be able to see this data sources but not any other else and if you set the public you'll be able to combine and mash up any other data sources and the people other people also will be able to uh, see this data uh, this is not going to be secured anyway basically so if you have any confidential data if you have a data that uh, you do not want to visible for others you should not set it to public you either go with the organizational or go with the private okay so that is what it is about the privacy level so right now I'm just uh, setting it none um, this privacy level can also be set here file options and settings go to the options if you want to set this privacy level uh, globally for all the power bi files that you work in the future you can go to this global options and uh, uh, set the privacy right or if you want to set this privacy level only in this power bi file you can go to this privacy setting in this current file um, there are two options here combine data according to your privacy level settings for each source right which means you would have seen that privacy level uh, settings that uh, um, in the previous uh, 
a window that uh, the private setting to private organizational or public right so you will have those options if you choose this option combine data according to your privacy level settings for each source if you if you don't want to uh, have a privacy levels option enable you can just ignore all the privacy level and potentially improve the performance but what Microsoft says is if you enable this option and if you set any privacy level settings to private organizational something uh, or you know public what will happen uh, of course uh, you will your data will be secured uh, from others but the thing is that it's going to degrade your performance so you will see potentially some uh, performance issues so if you don't want to see the performance issues if you don't have any confidential data you better set this one so that it will it is going to improve your performance potentially okay and this is about changing the data source settings thank you so much and we'll see you in the next lecture bye